it was raining threes for the A and really a 17 point win for the Hawks. The entire team played well. They did, and I like how Trey Young came out going for the kill early. He was a tr he was uh, aggressive offensively, and before you know it, his teammates picked up the pace. John Collins had his best game of the series. He had 22 points, and off the bench, Gallinari had 21. Total team effort by the Hawks. And I love the strategy by Nick McMillan as well to kind of funnel Julius Randle to help Clint Capella all the time. He's like a double double machine. This team has a lot of offensive firepower. They're going to be a problem in the next series. Sure. Trey Young becomes the fourth player ever to average 25 points and 10 assists in his first four career playoff games only Steph, Kevin Johnson, and the Big O accomplished the exact same feat. So let's talk about the Knicks side of it all okay. and, and what needs to change or improve as they head back home to defend home court in New York. I think they're just going to play with better effort and you have to shoot the three better. They have so many players that shot 40% from three this year. Um, Randall, RJ Barrett, um, Bullet, they need those guys to shoot better. But the way they got their four seed was isolation basketball. Mm -hmm. That does not work in the playoffs unless you have Kevin Durant, James Harden, and Kyrie Irving. And so they're making him play in the crowd. They're doing a good job of contesting what I follow. Yeah, Julius Randle needs to fit more into the continuity of the offense when they pass the ball, get everybody involved. But I do want to say this, regardless of whether the Knicks come back or not, the Knicks has had one hell of a year. Yeah, they right? And I, I don't want Knicks fans to blow it out of perspective and start you know, saying goodbye. What's going on with Julius Randle? Uh -huh. it, it's, it's, it's that time. He is saying goodbye. <laughs> it, it, it's it's going to be closing time. The Knicks right now where the Nets were three years ago. Yes. They're a promising team that made the playoffs, that overachieved, that hopefully now you can grab a Squirtle superstar from around the league to add to that roster. Okay, well, let's talk about a superstar. We'll talk about it when we come back. Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns up four at the half. We talk this game next. This halftime report is presented by Oculus from Facebook.